Here we go. Uh, indeed, it is a jungle town starting in orange. Interestingly enough, it will be actually pretty good. It's still pretty oh, good. No. Either way you go, it in is purple. good. And the purple star here. Obviously, they're going to be uh, doing a bit more of a uh, not unorthodox routing here. So, right, it's all going to be up to mid lane control here for Ogwen. I'm actually extremely curious about how Ben Fink is going to deal with this diggy, actually. Yeah, Ben thinks here it's going to be tough for him to really set things up. It's going to be tough for him to be able to actually get into position without taking damage. Because, But right now with how Ogwen is playing, you, you see him, he's just following Ben Things. He, they're throw, he's throwing those time bombs. So he's actually looking for Ben Things. Yeah, he's looking for Ben Things. Uh, he has his work cut out for him here. And now I, I get why Brandy Sports went for the Claw and said it is safer. Uh, the Bruno, though in theory, would have been too much focus into winning the gold lane that in terms of the team fight itself it might have been too difficult going up against the long range damage that a Sicilian can deal and of course the oh. close up damage that a Valentina can deal. Look at the XP difference between SD and Kyle. Look at Kyle. Oh my goodness, he's fighting against level two people like babies. Yeah. Kids, it is curfew. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you just say babies? <laughs> I would say kids. Sorry, <laughs> I, my my mind's like they they look they're so small like babies. To be honest, I will be terrified if some if, if an intimidating figure went up to me and like watch out babies, babies. <laughs> instead of kids or children. I'm like, who says babies? I mean, <laughs> Bams is a fire demon. He's yeah. the king of demons in the world of MLBB, so makes sense. Uh, prime position for Brandy Sports here to take the first turtle but uh interestingly enough tnc are holding on to a very small gold lead swings back over to brent now as they pull the turtle over to their side yep. Yep. yep it's gonna be a bit of a uh bear actually they're all level four so it is gonna be a pretty still good fight oh, for the tnc bad. they take down pandora to very very low hp oh, but here comes here the co alter. everyone's so low but the same thing's gonna happen here for tnc Turtle will go over to Kyle TZ. Everyone has cult to alters. You get a res, you get a res. Everyone gets a res, and Cram gets the first blood of the game onto Pandora. Red Esports walks away with the turtle. How dope. I did not see that. He went for a deep cut. He went for a yeah. deep cut. I love it. Cram here, always on point, and this just proves and answers my question from earlier. How does the young Cram reset? And here he did. He says, I'm still on point. I know I can get Pandora. And he did. I like it because it kind of unleashes Cram, right? Instead of playing conservatively, Pressure. like being the meat shield, uh, the damage soak, you've got more freedom to actually roam around and maximize your mechanic. Yeah, and this is what I was asking for. It's a unique pick. But it does take the boxes that you mentioned earlier, Rockart, and the ones I was looking for earlier as well. And Cal Teasy, I love that this is how he's playing right now up against a lineup with a Karina. He's not afraid to invade, he's going to the jungle, he's taking away resources. And he's got so much bravado, basically, on this uh, on this fam. Early on, you hit level 4 so fast, and I really have to find out how to do that, because I, I level up so slow on the fam. So, <laughs> he's doing it so well alongside his teammates. Oh. And SD is actually on a level deficit. 2v2 here. Oh man. I don't think they're gonna go for anything at this point, but unless Cram kinda itches on a trigger finger, he is a level above Pandora. That's the advantage you get with the Valentina. And we got SD on the on the play here. Pa Pandora very, very low. He's actually oh, look at, at him, look at ah, him! Ah, there you go. Can Cram survive? That's, that's a question. I don't think so, but if he has enough cooldown on the to. jump, he will be. But it will not reach him in time. That's a one for one on the Oh, side. this is bad for TNC because this is perfectly timed. Brandy Sports once Pandora respawns, it'll be turtle up and then Cram has to catch up. Yeah, that's a lot. That's very, very close. And don't look at this. Brent is looking at that bush. They have control of this Tetris bush. Is that right? Is that what you guys call it? <laughs> it's it's like a Tetris L. Uh, the, the Z. This one? Yeah. That, that's the East River Bush. East River yeah. Bush. There you go. That's the oh, official name. No Bad Fangs! No me no blast! Of course, Cult or Alter Alt is there. I'm gonna... That that name's... I don't know why it's uh, kind of... Tongue twister? Tongue twisting We're gonna see right it now, a lot. Yeah, we will see a lot here Whoa! in this game. Gotta get used to it! Oh my goodness, Joe! But Joe's down as well! Oh! He survives! What? Oh! Beautiful! Calculated up to the last HP bar. Big J got it. Big J, man. It's a Big J place. Big J place. Check it out one more time. Underneath the turret, he knew exactly what was going on. This is not that moment. Nah, it's slowing down, but this is not there it. There it is. Blazing duet. Yes, 
That's exactly what happened there. Just, just, just take it, take it from us. It happened. It happened. You, you all saw it just happen. You had right to now. see it. Yep. You had to be there. You had to be there. And you it's were like, there. It's like you tell your friends a really nice story, and then you just ended with, you had to be there. Oh, yeah. oh Crambo. Crambo. Yeah, you can't really co alter yourself right there with two people on your tail. So there is one weakness to the whole Valentina Faramis thing. What? It's all it's, it's so fragile for the Valentina si side. Yeah. Because you have to hold on to it, and then you have to wait for it. For the Faramis team, it's just okay. We're ready. Yeah, I was born to do this. You know, if you're a Far if you're the OG Faramis, like I, I'm gonna do, I can do this all day. Literally original Faramis. <laughs> original Faramis. <laughs> and it, it's a great adjustment that Brand Esports uh, did. They started to realize. I, we really have to deal with Cram right now. So, two rotations into his lane to pressure him. Now he's going to be stuck on cleanup duty. Valentina isn't the fastest hero in the world. Uh, TNC will have to juggle who's going to be managing those side lanes. So, it's a good call by Bren doing what they did. Instead of pressuring Yasuo, they trusted Jome to do it instead yep. while they went to the bottom lane to pressure Cram. Okay, Jome is on Demon Hunter Golden Staff. Uh activation now so they are going to be roaring and itching to go for those team fights which are they are doing right now on the mid doing a lot of damage on the cram at the moment the cram he's feeling a lot more confident tries to go for a little bit poke but again ren does have control of all these bushes because of those auto time bombs oh, wow. Oh, ah. wow. This is the last hurdle going over to Bren Esports, propelling them over about two and a half, three thousand gold almost over TNC, and all turtles are over to the black and yellow. Yeah, whoever voted for uh, Kyle TZ to get more objectives mm -hmm. in this game, you guys are ahead so far, I think. Yeah, wait for your phone from Samsung week four, all right? Oh, quick skirmish in mid, Pandora. I'm surprised Pandora's doing so well here. He's sitting at zero, two, and two. No stacks on the Festival of Blood. That's true, but all the, while that was happening, Topside and Bren were so busy with that. And they want to get some answers on the Pandoras uh, soon. But here's the thing, I love so far that Few is the one in control of the Faramis. All that experience, you got, just got to know when to activate the Cult Altar, and you're already giving so much to your team, you know? Yeah, and TNC traded it out. Now a good call for them to go for the bottom lane since they lost the top side. In terms of the gold, Brand Esports does have the lead. Not that massive at this point, but the, if TNC loses another fight, loses another, gets picked off again, it's going to be bad news for them because Bren will have the opportunities now to make that an even bigger gap in terms of the gold. Already a clock of Destiny on the few. Ooh. for both sides. Bram might be in trouble. Oh, Activates it so early though. Oh, that's a boo boo, isn't it? Um, bit of a miscommunication, oh, but I think Oh, there we go. The There's Joe with the cold altar. And that will be the Blazing Duet. He's cut a little bit short there on the DPS. But it's fine. All they were going for was that turret in mid. And I love it. The modus operandi for Brenny Sport is force Cram to use the Cult Altar soon. If he even has it. So TNC are sitting on what? A very frail two-step plan. And Brenny Sport, all they have to do is trip him up once. That's true. And while that was happening, Pandora also taking the turret on top side. Oh. Scott free. It's so easy for Brenny Sport to execute here. TNC, they're, they're, they're going... 250 IQ. This is too much. I have to say, this 4K gold lead feels like a lot bigger than it should be. And uh, at this point, we're waiting for Escalera scaling. We're waiting for Yasuo scaling. Like, where's the damage gonna come from? We're gonna have to wait and find out, but we might wait not too long for that to happen. I think Bren wants to force the fight now. I'm wondering, what kind of Karina is this? This is Demon a... Slayer, so probably tank. I wasn't able to see I, I can't see the item. We yeah. should be able yeah. to see it, uh, especially it's, since we finished First Lord. That's true. We should see it soon. So for the meantime, it is the offensive for Brent Esports. They're setting upon the siege. Oh. You against scouting. The beautiful uh, ghosting through the path, through the walls. Soul Stampede, so nasty. So good, man. It, it, again, that change on the Faramis, I think, just escalated him to S++ tier. Alongside the cult altar, obviously, but game changer. But now they're on the top side with the Lord, and they're just waiting for everyone to get into position. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough defense here for TNC. You cannot full commit outside of turrets. If they want to win a fight, they're gonna have to win a fight under the turrets. But 
Then they also have to space out because they have to be careful with Joam coming in with a blazing duet. So many things you need to consider and take into uh, yeah. and to really watch out for just to survive a defense with a Lord marching in. And the bunnies of death on the side. And the bunnies of death as well on the side of Brandy Sports yeah, coming out of the diggy as well. If you're rage diggy. <laughs> it really is a thing. And right now SD is taking some damage. Uh, explosions on the top side will be clearing up some of that minion wave. And again, all TNT wants to do is buy time at this point. Let's just buy as much time as we can. That's the only thing probably screaming out their microphones right now. Just keep everyone alive. So far, this 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 six thousand gold lead by Brandy Sports is maybe I, I I'd reckon putting their timeline at about 15, 16 minutes. Given that nothing else bad happens, if TNC is still in this at the 15, 16 minute mark, maybe we have a fight, maybe we have a game, but it Good doesn't point. look like Brent's gonna let that go. That's a, actually a very fair point. Uh, at, at this point, we're looking at the timers. The TNC's biggest enemy is the timers right now. If they can just keep doing what they're doing, keep rotating up oh. to their lanes and clearing it up. Yeah, and there it is. It's a more tanky built Karina. Classic. Classic Karina. There is now a... I, I saw Windtalker get picked up by Yasuo, but yep. it's not on... It's there. Uh, it's there. Sorry, uh, Wind of Nature, Wind rather. of Nature. Oh, oh yeah, it's not there yet. Up. Yeah, it's not there yet, but... Okay. Rather, it's uh, there for sure. You right? you have cram with the divine glaive as well, so they have a good amount of items to potentially turn a team fight started by Bren into DNC survives and they get two or three kills. They can't go for a big team fight win where they'll wipe out Bren though. You know, if that happens, that means Bren messed up somewhere and TNC were able to do the right call or make the right play to actually make it a wipeout. Look at the freeze. Brandy Sports so in sync across the map. Don't give him waves. Because yeah, again, if you're buying time on the map, mm -hmm. all you can do is pray for minion waves. And if you're denying it just the way Brandy Sports is while waiting for the Lord, then you're setting yourself up for success. Pandora buys an Oracle here. And right now, eyes on the Luminous Lord, 12 yep. minutes in. Yep, Brent has made the call. Let's get started. We are tired of waiting. And that Lord going down very quickly because of the Demon Hunter Sword in Jome. And that is also a Claude, so that compounds the damage output. That removes the objectives from the map very, very quickly. I would like to have seen TNC rush the top tower uh, faster. Oh! Uh, but let's see if Kyle Tiju will actually be... He stops the minion wave. That's... Uh, I think TNC, the, the reason why they left it is they trusted the minion wave, yeah. but then somehow it's yeah. still standing. So no gold from Nothing. that for a while. More like Clutch TZ. That's yeah. true. <laughs> Clutch TZ. I'm, I'm, I'm here till today. <laughs> That's true. And then next week. Yes. Uh, again, camera is panning over the old Gwen earlier, the bunnies of death with impure rage, uh, as well as the glowing wand for sure. I'm sure it's there. We didn't check it, but it's there. Yeah. Uh, and this get this is just Ren setting up for the big attack. Yeah, which explains why Joe was investing in an Athena shield. He understands that the real threat from TNC would be Cram and Escalera. So again, as the glass cannon clawed. That is how they want to set themselves up for potentially the last team fight. It's looking very dangerous for TNC. Now TNC, what are they gonna do? Bunnies searching for their targets right now. And few oh, as oh. well getting ready to pull the trigger on the altar. Lord pushes up on bot. We got Joe in the middle. Tower goes down. Gonna be up Defense. to them. Again, TNC just reacting to everything that they are seeing on the screen. Clearing up the minion waves. They are gonna let go of the turret probably going to be the next lore that Brand Esports will be waiting for and then they'll end it. Trigger Discipline coming out for Bren. Uh, they didn't have the minion waves in the mid lane anymore. That's the only time they would have tried to end it, but they made the most out of it. They have, they left TNC with just one turret. That's the same amount of numbers of turrets that TNC has broken in this game. Bren. And Bren, they are tired. They don't want to wait for the lore. They want to go for the offensive. Turret instantly taken out there by the ghosts of Bren Esports. Don't really care much about maximizing the use of the cult altar. Interesting decision here by Bren. You saw before that final engage underneath the inhibitor in mid. They decided we're not freezing, we're pushing in. Two-step uh, plan there. They wanted to pressure TNC into making a mistake. Oh, wait, oh, Gwen! Oh, oh, we got oh Gwen finally removing Joe. the diggy from the play. Joe is fighting still. We'll have to go in and BMI on out of there. Again, Cult Altar, I think, is still available for a few. 
Gren could go for another one. All the ultimates expended from TNC, but it, I think it was well worth it. Nothing comes for free. So again, back to uh, the question of why Brain Sports did just that. They wanted to set up for Lord, and they wanted to make sure that they pushed the offensive. Earlier they were about uh, 5 or 6k. At 8k, that might have been a magic number and said, you know what? That's what? Three or four items? We can force this. TNC's not ready for this, but apparently they were. That's why they got the pick off on Ogwen, but the trade off on SDZYZ. And now for TNC, it's bleak. It's a bleak chance that they'll actually be able to contest this Lord. Attempt properly, yep. Bren already brought it down to half. Uh, SDZYZ's too far. He's way too far. He just spawned and now Lord will go over to Bren as easy as that. Oh man, and it, you, you could see how cautious Bren are of holding on to this lead. They used the ultimate of view just to make sure, just in case TNC had plans to punish Bren Esports, they had the call counter up. Yeah, this is beautiful actually for Bren Esports. They are systematically taking as much gold from the map as they can. Although, we ha we're talking about numbers. The magic number 16 minutes is actually coming up. So TNC, they might be more uh, prepared for the coming team fights compared to where they were 10 minutes for six minutes ago. Could be, but since then, all inhibitors went down and Ben Things is in trouble. Ben Things will be going down here, but not before taking out Pandora. Going with the DPS on the size is actually more than TNT can handle. They have to back off a little bit here. No. Still gonna be an attack for Brand. They got the cult altar. They are not afraid. The Lord and the rest of the team are wailing on the oh, base. Man. And that is all she wrote. That is a 2 0 for Brand Esports in game number one. The draft alone was a telltale sign that TNT was in trouble. Pharamis and Diggy proving to be lethal. A sweep for.